What's up YouTube, Dai here from Zephyr War Games, and today I have a very awesome and exclusive opening for you. So today we are going to open up a pair of the Yu-Gi-Oh! official Adidas shoes. Now massive shout out to Kyron who has let me open these up. These have not been opened yet, they are the Dark Magician ones. Funnily enough, um, fits up perfectly for me. So this is a limited edition run that was a collaboration between Adidas and Yu-Gi-Oh! or Konami themselves. The box you can't quite see until I get in the shadow has a beautiful, um, it's basically the three Megatins put together, but it's like the Pharaoh slab. And then it, the hieroglyphs go all the way around the box, apart from the bomb, of course. Um, yeah, absolutely beautiful. So we're going to dive straight into these and we're going to see what you get with the shoes and how cool they look. So it's a very, it's one ended open. So there's a little tab system down here. Obviously, I want to be as gentle as I possibly can. So it just slides out like this and straight away you can see absolutely, for a Dark Magician fan, this is amazing. So you've got this little lip fold, which is basically where Yugi currently stands. You've got the official Adidas logo down there. And then this, which is obviously um, Dark Magic Attack, is the insoles for the shoes. So you can see very faintly the yellow dots around. So you're supposed to cut these out and put them on the inside of the shoe. Now. Whether Kyron does that or not, I would keep this one as it is. I wouldn't want to even want to consider doing that because I think this looks amazing. It's got a decent bit of padding and it feels great. Uh, and then carrying on into the box, you can see you get um, this papered Millennium items. So you've got all of the Millennium items on the paper. What you, whether you keep them or not is entirely up to you. Uh, and then, of course, you've got the shoes themselves. So before we dive into the shoes, we'll also look at the exclusive Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, laces. So it's like a teal green lace with like um, a purple Yugo writing on out. Uh, sadly, you've also got a replacement purple sleeves there that say Yugo, but they don't have any Yugo text on them. I wonder if you can get those, uh, the, le uh, the laces separate. And then of course, these are the shoes. Now, each of the shoes should come, oh my God, this is heavy, with an official metal gold uh, plate and each of the plates are different. They're different parts of Exodia. Exodia. At the moment, we've only got a Dark Magician shoe and we've got a Blue Eye shoe. Um, so hopefully that means there's more to come in the future because you'll get more of these and then that complete Exodia. Now, with the Blue Eyes ones, this little clear bit of rubber here is actually like blue. Now, I can see they've tried to make it kind of like a purple, but I don't think they've made it purple enough. Now, that might be because they might feel that it deters... Um, some of the player base or some people might be like, oh, I don't want to be seen with purple. But I feel that if this was like bright purple or actually matched the, the Dark Magician purple, it would have been really cool. Uh, you've got the artwork of Dark Magician on the side, uh, official Adidas logo at the back, nothing too special about the tab here. Obviously, blue eyes will be blue. The Dark Magician is like that, the teal purple. Nothing really on the instep or inside. Uh, the only other thing that you've got on the tongue, oh, that is awesome, is it actually says Dark Magician on the tongue, uh, and then you've got the Millennium Puzzle, which I think is really, really cool. Um, inside the shoe, you can see at the moment that it's got insoles already, and the insoles are basically just like the Yu-Gi-Oh logo, which is really cool. Um, doesn't feel as soft as the Dark Magician ones though, I'm not going to lie. Um, but obviously they're designed to come out, or you put the Dark Magician ones on top. Now obviously both the shoes are exactly the same, I believe. So you've got the exact same design of Dark Magician on the inside, on the outside of the shoe, uh, and then there really isn't anything else left in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically review the shoe in general. I've given you a look round of exactly what it is. Um, my personal thoughts to this: I'm not a fan of the way the shoe is in general. Um, for those of you that follow Adidas and everything like that, you would have seen that they did a Dragon Ball style shoes, um, and they were literally the shoe was in the colours of a character. So rather than just going, okay, we're going to slap a bit of artwork on the side, the, the shoe was like purple. For example, in Dark Magician, it would have been like a purple shoe with like a green sole. And then it would have had like um, different shades of purple throughout, which would have looked like a, a Dark Magician themed shoe rather than his Dark Magician on it. Now, whether that was a, a licensing thing or not, I do not know. Um, but I feel that the shoe itself is, is nice. I love these little bits like the Dark Magician here and the Millennium Puzzle there. Um... I would have liked there to be more colour of laces like this. So I would have liked it to be the purple that the Yu-Gi-Oh is. I would have liked that to be a purple lace with the colour of the green as Yu-Gi-Oh. 
I think that would have been really cool and it would have fit the, the shoe a lot better as well because I think I feel what this shoe's missing for Dark Magician is like bright purple like this purple is the color that I want to see on my shoe now again I feel that it people might have gone well it's not as appealing to everybody whereas blue eyes with blue you can get away with it regardless um, I think it's a really nice shoe they retail or they did retail at 90 90 English pounds uh, a lot of the sizes instantly sold out the standard sizes as you would expect um, so it will be hard to kind of find these you'll be able to find them on the second hand market but you'll be paying double the price um, unless you have a very unique shoe size anyway uh, thank you so much to Kyron who allowed me to check out his shoes I like the fact that he's held off trying to wear these um, is quite impressive I'll try and put it back as neatly as I possibly can I feel that the, the issue is is the insole that all the insoles and the box itself actually deters from the shoe. I feel that when you see the insoles and when you see the rest of the box, you're like, oh, the shoe's gonna look incredible. And then you get to the shoe, and yes, it does look really nice, but it also does look quite plain, um, <clears throat> which is a bit of a disappointment. Whether I would spend the, oh, maybe I would spend the 90 pound on them, but I don't know if I would actually spend the full, um, like the, the current asking price of people asking like £200 for these. I think that's just a little bit too much. Anyway, uh, like I said, massive shout out to Kyron. Thank you for letting me see these. Really cool to do a bit of an unboxing for you guys as well. I think they are overall beautiful, but I feel that they could have been better. Um, if I'm being critical, like if I want to be buying a shoe as a collector's, collector's item, you want it to be like pristine, perfect and have a nice little edge to it. Um, that being said, it does look really, really cool. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Till next time, guys, as absolutely always, stay safe and, of course, happy dueling.